and welcome to Long Weekend Adventures. She's Lisa. I'm Don, and today we're at Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport at the uh, 22nd Annual FAA uh, Flying. Yep, here to check out some planes. <laughs> so we've got a uh, B-25 uh, behind us, and then we have several uh, general aviation aircraft uh, around and uh, I believe people are going to be flying in all morning. There's a breakfast and stuff scheduled. Um, so there's not too many people here right now. So we'll walk around and see what we can see for now. Uh, it's just past uh, 630. 6.30 in the morning. Six, six in the morning. <laughs> for, they got uh, here early. It started at 6. Yes. So it's the early start to the day. We're going to walk around and see what's going on. Uh, if you're stopping in for the first time, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, let's uh, go look at some aircraft real quick. Aircraft here is an Archer Aero. I had the opportunity to fly this uh, a couple of times. It's uh, got retractable gear and uh, was more expensive to fly back when I was flying general aviation. So it wasn't uh, really cost prohibitive to fly, but uh, it's pretty cool to see it. And then uh, just beyond here, we have a Cessna. I believe this is a one. 72. I had a lot of hours in one of these as well. Uh, growing up flying out of Centennial. That's where I got my pilot's license. And uh, then uh, beyond it over here we have uh, a Cherokee which have a lot of hours in a Cherokee. I went to two different uh, flight schools. So this, uh, this Cherokee here, uh, I split a lot of time between, not this actual airplane, but, uh, oh, sorry, and we're getting told we can't come this far down. Local uh, commemorative Air Force has a beach, I think it's a C-45, which is the military variation of a beach 18, which was first built in uh, the 40s, and this type of aircraft served uh, during World War II for light transport, executive transport, officer transport, and also as a navigator and bomber trainer. Uh, this particular one's been around for a while and just this year they got the engines fixed, they got the engine replaced, so it's really neat. It actually lives in that hangar uh, behind where those garages are, it lives in the hangar there. And there's folks around who can tell you a lot about it who are involved with flying it, but it's just wonderful to see it fly. Cool, thanks for the history. That's great. My pleasure. That's cool. Been here a couple hours, uh, actually right about two hours, and uh, we've rocked around and seen some uh, cool airplanes. And we're standing in front of the uh, Osprey right now, and uh, we went over and saw the uh, B-25 for a little bit. And uh, then there's an S and B-5, which was a Navy trainer that's across the way, and uh, I'll roll uh, video footage for that. 
um, the uh, SMB-5 that was built in 1943 and the B-25 was built in 1944. And nobody is here for this uh, Osprey, so we don't know much about this Osprey. And uh, we've gotten uh, a lot of cool shots of uh, some planes taking off, planes coming in. What do you think, babe? Yeah, this has been pretty neat. Um, everybody's super polite here and um, has been feeding us some information. I mean, I know nothing really about these planes. You know a little bit more than I do, um, just because you have a history with aviation and stuff. But um, this is really neat, you know. it's It's been really cool to see them, um, you know, land and, and watch some of them take off. And um, it's not a huge event. We probably have, what, 15? Mm, here right now? Uh, maybe, maybe 20. They've maybe been 20. steadily coming in and steadily going yeah. out. So. so it's a pretty neat little deal and they had a pancake breakfast for um, the pilots and um, you know they got a little tent set up for souvenirs and things like that so it's it's pretty neat. Um, I think they're gonna have a few more planes coming in and um, we'll probably find a couple more people to talk to and get some more information and um, you know just kind of wander around a little bit more. It's kind of a casual event, nothing major. Um, lots of photographers here. Um, there are some that are kind of hobbyists and then there's some that um, are, you know, aviation photographers. So, a um, little bit of something for everybody, whether you're, you know, just into planes or into plane photography or things like that. So, it's been pretty cool so far. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, that's, uh, we're going to wander around some more and uh, see if we can't find uh, some professionals to talk to that uh, know, uh, know a lot of history about some of these aircraft. Yeah. We'll see you soon. See ya. So we weren't able to find anyone to talk about the uh, B-25 or the SMB-5. Uh, got pretty busy here once people showed up. They're uh, busy doing uh, uh, plane rides and uh, plane tours and all that stuff. So 
Uh, we got to join a new group though, huh? Yeah, um, Colorado Aviation Photography. Um, we were able to meet some of the members and stuff uh, here and uh, you know, really great people. The group is just a little over 2,000 members and we're gonna see what kind of events they end up posting on there and this was really cool. I didn't think it was gonna be this awesome. I mean, when we first started out, it was kind of on a smaller scale. We were kind of waiting for the show to get going. And then once the bomber and the Osprey took off, um, you know, everybody kind of got excited. So that wow. was, uh, you know, that that was the, the cherry on top of the Sunday. to see an Osprey take off. Not that very many amazing. people. That was pretty cool. So we will um, definitely probably be uh, looking for more events like this. This this was really neat. I, I could see us doing something like this whenever they have them, really. For sure. We need to buy a plane next time so we can uh, fly them. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday when we win the lottery. <laughs> so. so yeah, this this was a great trip. Uh, I think we're going to wrap it up. Everybody's starting to take off and uh, finish up for the day. So pretty exciting. Yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait to see what comes down the road with them. And uh, I think next Sunday uh, we're going to be camping, right? Yeah, next two weekends we're going to be camping. So next two weekends we'll uh, probably have some hikes and, uh, you know, some camping footage and things like that. So we always try to mix it up, do something a little bit different every week, and just try to keep it interesting. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please share, like, and subscribe, and uh, tell your friends about us. Definitely, and we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.